So what does climate change have to do with migration? Well, think about it this way. All life on Earth, including human life, depends on the freedom to move. For centuries, migration has facilitated advances in human civilization, enabling the exchange of ideas, cultures, and resources. However, in the face of the rapidly changing climate, migration has taken on new dimensions and challenges. Today, only 1% of the world's surface is considered a hot zone. But by 2070, that number is expected to grow to nearly 20%, primarily in the global south. More and more people will be vulnerable to natural disasters, droughts, extreme temperatures and other disruptions to their way of life, motivating many to move north to cooler parts of the planet. How will leaders in the northern countries manage these influxes? Many treat climate migration as simply a threat to national security. But that is the heart of the problem. Even if it was one-dimensional, a national security issue points to national solutions. Administered through centralized, hierarchical, often militarized organizations like the DOD and the DHS. But migration is complex and many of its issues are not national in scale. Much like in centrally planned economies, top-down policies give leaders too much power while preventing the use of local knowledge, creating bad incentives and additional costs. Instead, we need a polycentric approach. In a polycentric system, migrants can negotiate with employers and sometimes intermediaries, such as job boards, hiring agencies or unions to find work. This targeted and cooperative approach allows everyone to benefit. Meanwhile, federal policies restrict these agreements, limiting the benefits. In a polycentric system, civil society groups like churches or nonprofits, neighbors helping each other informally, or local governments can decide how to integrate migrants into their community. Unfortunately, the national government often uses force to crack down on bottom up efforts in the name of security. But funnily enough, a polycentric approach is still better for security because it allows locals to participate along with public safety officials, adding crucial insight and additional support. Migration is a critical way to adapt to change. And in a rapidly changing world, a one-size-fits-all solution is simply not up to the task. There are no panaceas, but the best way to help the most people is to create policies that can adapt as well.